I'm Sarah. I will be doing my presentation on carlotite gold deposits, in particular the gold deposits found in Nevada, which are also known as invisible gold. The Carlin trend runs approximately 60 kilometres and hosts a number of deposits. This is a picture of the Gold Strike Mine, which is the largest Carlin type deposit in the world, producing 50 million ounces or about 156 tonnes of gold. The age of the deposit has been established around the mid Eocene or about 46.5 million years. So here's the state of Nevada. There's Las Vegas, and here lies the Carlantite deposit in the northern area of Nevada. Carlin is right here, which is how the trend got its name. In the little grey box lies the gold. Here is a basic map of the deposit. Gold Star and Deep Post are the two highest gold deposits present in the mine, which sit along the sheared margin of the gold strike stock here. The Carlin type gold deposits are known as the invisible gold because the gold particles are not visible to the naked eye. No, not that naked eye. As you can see from the picture, there is no visible gold in the host rock. The particles are nanometers in size and were missed by gold pr pr prospectors prior to the 1960s. Geologists found the gold and it has since become the second largest gold mine in the world next to South Africa. The gold occurs in arsenic bearing pyrite and quartz and is in or, and in order to extract the tiny particles of gold, a cyanide bearing solution is used. There is no single model that can completely explain the processes and features of the carlin-type gold deposits in the world. As few as they are, each is unique. Henry and Bowden proposed that the heat source in the Eocene was due to magnetism, which drove the heated water systems and generated the deposits found in carlin trend in northern Nevada. Originally, the Carlin province was not situated on a tectonic setting that would have produced gold, and the province was situated on a fairly stable area of the world before movement of the tectonic plates occurred. A simplified stratigraphic column was developed by Teal and Jackson, showing the areas of gold mineralisation. So, concluding, there are still many aspects that scientists don't agree on with the formation of Carlin-type deposits, as the rocks of stratigraphy are the main, as well as the minerals present in the formation have been reworked and reheated and redeposited more than once, so it is difficult to pinpoint exactly how the deposits were formed. And of course, there is still production in the mine in Nevada. There is constant research being undertaken, as well as the development of new models which may help in exploration efforts for the discovery of more gold deposits. Thank you.